Welcome back everyone. This week we're talking about how to kickflip, which is one of the best, uh, or one of my favorite down river freestyle kayaking tricks out there. Um, about a year ago, I did a kind of advanced how to kickflip video. This week I want to take it back with more of a like basics how to kickflip video to give you guys an idea about how to get started with your kickflip if you haven't done one before and how to build up to that advanced like big kind of steezy kickflip. Um, things you need to think about here, we need a, a wave fairly steep with no foam pile on top, about two to four feet, more or less. Um, that's really the, the criteria we're looking for. Ideally, it's gonna be very a deep wave train. I know that's not possible for everywhere you live, but mostly in learning this trick, you have a lot of time where you fall on your face. If you're trying to do it on a very shallow wave train, um, more chance that you are gonna get an injury to your face or to your shoulders or to your body from rocks. Uh, impacting you. So if you can find a nice deep wave train with a, a nice smooth green steep standing wave between two and four feet. Once you've found the wave that looks good to you, you need to be approaching it with a medium speed, medium to medium fast. Not as fast as you can, not as slow as you can, just somewhere in that medium, medium plus range. That speed is going to help you help your boat lift up and clear the wave and the better you can get going and get up the easier it is to get that nice like snappy rotation and flip your boat over your head. So you're driving into that wave, you're coming in medium, medium fast. As you are approaching the wave, you're going to be driving your boat up and starting to lean your body weight back. Just as your boat gets to the apex of its rise, you're actually going to do a strong, fast back deck roll, really pushing your feet away from you as hard as you can. The harder you can push your feet away from you, the snappier your boat's gonna go over your head and the more successful you're gonna be with your kickflip. To finish, you're gonna try and come up in a nice kind of central or neutral position, however you usually finish your back deck roll. And ideally, if you waited until your boat was at the apex of its rise to throw that back deck roll, then you should just finish in a nice upright position and be able to paddle away, happy days. Once you've got the timing really dialed in on this one, you can go back and check out that um, like advanced how to kickflip video I made last year. I'll, I'll leave a link in the comments. That's a really great way to take your kickflips from like just flipping over and kind of getting your hair wet to really driving your boat out of the water and keeping your hair nice and dry. The key to this thing is all about timing. So how, are you, how long you wait before you do that back deck roll and how hard you're pulling up on your knees as you're going up the wave are all gonna be small things that make a big difference in getting your boat up and out of the water and really snapping it over the top. What we're looking for here is really just to try and get that timing down every single time so that every time you drive up a wave, you can flip your boat over and land back on your hull before the next wave. If you're able to do that every time, you're ready to move on to that advanced kickflip video and you're ready to get much bigger, much more aerial kickflips and impress all your friends. Um, but really what we're looking for here is all about timing and unfortunately there's no shortcut to it. You really just have to start practicing and fall down a lot and then at some point it'll start, it'll start to click in um, when you need to take off, how fast you're paddling and you're just going to kind of balance those things out until your boat's really reeling up and heading over nice and hard. Okay, hopefully this video helped you out a lot. I will see you next week. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Peace.